You can feel it. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes. A myth ain't something that is a lie. A myth is a cosmic truth. Clues in allegory. If you don't know what allegory means, uh, Google it. Oh, look up the definition of it. What I'm about to show you is an excerpt from this book that I've been writing. Well, it'll speak for itself. Let me begin with it. In astronomy and astrology, the sixth month is the month September, the month of the Virgin, Virgo, because in the ancient zodiac, April, the beginning of spring, the month of the Lamb, Aries, was the second month of the calendar. March was the first month of the calendar. According to time and date, March used to be the first month of the year in the early Roman calendar. Around the year 700 BCE, the Roman king Numa Pompilius introduced January and February into the calendar, pushing March to the third position. And you find it in Luke 1, 26, 27, where it says, and in the sixth month, remember that September, first, the angel Gabriel, Gabriel, G-A-B-A-R, dash E-A-L, because L was the candidate name for God. L is also in the, uh, the root word of Elohim, meaning gods in plural, which is the word in the Genesis chapter 1, where they supplemented the word God for. That's why also in Genesis, the first chapter, you have the being saying, let us create man. It's not one being, a supreme being. It is just like the etymology of the word Elohim says, plural, the gods said, let us. All right? All right. Uh, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin, and the virgin's name was Mary. The name of Gabriel comes from the two Hebrew words Gabriel and El. The latter means God, and Gabriel means mighty or strong. The concealed meaning of Galilee is our very own vainglorious galaxy. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. The place in which we find Nazareth or Mazareth, meaning the twelve constellations or signs, substitute an N for the M in the word to get Nazareth, and Nazareth appears. The zodiacal symbol of Virgo the Persian is this cliff right here. And it has remained its symbol since approximately 3000 to 20 to 2700 BC, predating the rise of the Greek and latter Roman civilization, thus therefore the Christian religion. The comprisers simply added the suffix Ary, A-R-Y, which also is a I-R-Y of the air, to the symbol and cryptically created Mary, the virgin of the air, or the airy virgin. That is why the story has Virgo the virgin, the constellation Virgo the virgin saying, how am I pregnant when I never lay with a man? Because it's impossible for a constellation, the woman constellation, Virgo, which is, is not a person, it's not a human. Uh, it's a personified woman uh, describing the stars. That is why Barry said, I have not known it. The man, that is exactly what? Not because she was in prison, because actually Mary had other kids before Jesus. Brothers and sisters older than Jesus. Jesus was the baby, so she wasn't a virgin. virgin. Mary is not a flesh and blood woman, but rather is the cosmic woman, which is the Virgo, the virgin. This is the reason she exclaims, how can this be seen? I know not a man, Luke 1, 34. She don't intimately and sexually know a man because she is the cosmic virgin, Virgo, the virgin. The power of the highest shall overshadow you, power of the sun. Then overshadow me and overlap, that is the sun in the house of the Virgo sign. Therefore, as the travels through all the twelve, the sun is 
in this particular part of the storage in the house of Virgo. If you know about precession of the equinoxes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Therefore, also that holy thing which that, that holy thing which shall be born or B O R N of you shall be called the Son of God, the S U N of God. Note that it says that holy thing and does not say that holy child, that holy baby, or that holy person. It is. The Son of God on his yearly journey through the twelve sides leaves Leo the Lion of Judah and into the side of the Persian Virgo. 